Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in this video, we are going to see one of the most popular streaming service which is available in Google Cloud platform called Cloud PubSub. So in this video, we will be seeing how what is Cloud PubSub, how to create Cloud PubSub using console and how to create Cloud PubSub subscriptions using console. So this is the objective for today's video and without any further delay, let's get started. To start with, I'll give you a, a small introduction on Cloud PubSub. So Cloud PubSub is a messaging service which shares event data among application and services. So it is basically a serverless service in Google Cloud Platform and also it is completely no ops that is fully managed service as well and it works on top of Apache Kafka. So it follows publisher subscriber model that is what it is named as Cloud PubSub. So in the next video or I'll be creating a new video on explaining you how what is Cloud PubSub, uh, how it is built on top of Apache Kafka and what are the different approaches, what are the different terminologies involved in uh, Cloud PubSub and what are the disadvantages and advantages of Cloud PubSub. I'll be making a separate video out of it and followed by I'll be making you making separate videos on how to create so, uh, PubSub topic subscriptions all those things using CLI as well as the same will be followed through uh, client library using Python as well. So in this video we will be seeing how to do that same in using console. To do it just go into this navigation menu and under uh, analytics you will be you will be finding more services related to cloud pub uh, under analytics we will be finding cloud pubsub so just click on it just click on this view all products and go to analytics and under analytics you will be finding cloud pubsub so global real time messaging service you can just click on this uh, drop down mm -hmm. and you can find quick, quick starts and documentation related to cloud pubsub services we will be just go click uh, we'll just click on the cloud pubsub so these are the available topics which is uh, which is i have already created in my cloud console so here you can see there are basically two types of pubsub one is pubsub and the other one is pubsub light so in other video i'll be explaining what is pubsub light and what is pubsub and how it is different between those two uh, what are the features available in this and what are the features and now what is the difference between these two services so to start with we will go with cloud pubsub and then the topics so just click on this create topic so just uh, this is the documentation of cloud pubsub you can go through these things like pubsub is a fully managed real-time messaging service so it is a streaming service which is available in google cloud platform send and receive message between independent applications so i'll be explaining you in a separate video i'll just close this and now to start with i'll give demo first topics topic and by default we are adding a subscription and we can use a schema schema in the sense i'll be making a separate video on this but when once we give give a schema to a particular topic whatever the data which is applicable to that particular schema only that uh, data will be available or else if the data if there is some change in the state uh, schema structure or if there is some change in the structure then our subscriber will uh, our topic will give us an error so for now i'll be not using the schema i'll be making a separate video on it and set message retention duration it is not free so if you wanted we can set message uh, retention duration as well like how many days you wanted to retain it for one day and one hour and one minute so encryption like by default we can use google manage encryption key or even you can pass your own customer manage encryption key as well for this demo i'll be using google manage encryption key so i have created how I created a separate video on how to create a customer managed encryption key as well so this topic it is in the creating state it will take uh, less than one minute to create a topic in uh, google cloud pubsub so can we let it create So the topic, uh, sorry, uh, the topic which we created, you know, demo first topic, it has been created here. Uh, you can like, you can readily integrate it with other cloud pubsubs, uh, other cloud services like cloud function. You can readily integrate with this. You when you can import data from cloud pubsub subscription or from cloud storage file as well. 
you can delete this service and information panel you can get it from here what are the different uh, uh, service accounts related to this particular uh, service uh, particular sub pub sub topic so we have by default we have created a subscription so you can see demo first topics the actually our topic name and followed by iphone sub and we, here you can see you can create if you wanted you can create subscription you can export it under snapshots messages if you want to publish a message to that particular topic and later point we will be creating a subscription to pull that message out from the topics and what are the metrics involved here so here you can see what are the metrics like publish message count we will be seeing all those things in this particular video itself and the details like encryption key this google manage encryption key we have not used any schema name here we are not using any message encoding and there is no labels but the retention duration for that particular message in this topic it is one day one hour one minute and here you can find the topic name as well like we will be uh, using this to integrate cloud pubs up with bigquery or cloud storage data flow uh, data prop so we will be using this particular topic name itself if you wanted to get the topic name you have to just copy this and similarly we will get the topic name for uh, uh, sorry uh, subscription names as well if you wanted to edit that instance you will be able to edit it but now we are not going to do that so just uh, you can come here and you can go to this subscription so these are the different subscriptions i'll be deleting those not this one uh, i'll be deleting the first one that i have used for some other uh, reason so by default we have one pubs up topic uh, pubs up subscription subscription available for this particular topic demo first iphone topic and um, it is taking some time to delete it yeah it got deleted so here if you can see subscription name subscription state and the topic name what which what is the topic which is associated to this particular uh, uh, subscription this subscription is associated to this particular topic project our project id topics and the respective topic name and this is the subscription name project project id subscription and what is the subscription name so we will be using this uh, this uh, subscription name and topic name to integrate with other different gcp services as well here you can create snapshot you can replay messages purge messages uh, detach from that existing topic name or you can delete it and there is information panel you can get more details on it and what are the metrics so health pull so basically this is a pull type uh, subscription uh, or there are basically two types one is publish and pull so uh, whatever the topic with whatever the message which is published to this topic this subscription will pull that message from that particular topic if we create a push message push subscription then whatever the message which is published to that particular topic this topic uh, the push subscriber will push it to a particular endpoint i will be showing you how to create the, that detail as well so here you can create a custom like you can uh, do uh, track our metrics all the details and the details also delivery type all those things now i will be showing you how to create a subscription new subscription so the subscription is demo first topic sub two. this is my topic name and what is the top so that is my subscription name and what is the topic so here we can we should not give so demo first iphone topic iphone sub 2 this is my topic name sorry subscription name and this is allocated to this topic demo first topic and here you can see right like what is the delivery type push pull or write to big query so when we give pull um, like what is the measure retention like seven days uh, zero hours zero minutes the one which we configure it is for topics so it is independent um, one topic can have many subscribers one topic can have many uh, publishers and one publisher can have multiple topics one subscriber can have multiple uh, subscriptions to the topics so those details we will be seeing in the, the upcoming video where i'll be explaining more about cloud pubs up so if you wanted to push you have to give the endpoint so i'll be explaining you how to use push as well but in the next video and if you want you can write it to bigquery for by giving details such as uh, by giving details such as data set table id all those things we will be just creating push and we will have two days zero, two hours and let it be two minutes and retain acknowledgement message if you wanted to retain we can retain the acknowledgement message as well but we are not going to do it and what is the expiration period 
we just give never expire on acknowledgement deadline like let it be 10 seconds like deadline time is from 10 seconds to 600 seconds before that it will be uh, re like after that the particular uh, message will not be um, will not be available to acknowledge it so we like for right now we'll give just 11 seconds for this particular subscription and exactly once delivery so PubSub is like even if there is under message PubSub guarantees like one message will be delivered at least one time so that is the uh, that is the guarantee given by PubSub to the customers to the users and order messaging with an ordering key so those details and just uh, uh, retry policy if there is some error if you want it can retry immediately or you can give some specific time some seconds to uh, re to retry it so we'll be re going with retry immediately and we will be creating this particular topic so particular subscription not topic like i'm getting confused between topic and subscription let it be so here you can see i'll just refresh it subscription successfully added but i'm not able to see it yeah now i'm able to see it so i'm again going to this particular topic this is my demo first topic and under messages like publish message so to which uh, year also you can create a subscription you can sub, uh, subscribe as well like just click on this publish message a number of messages so this is gcp just publish it here and in the other tab open subscriptions in the other tab open subscription and basically we have two subscribers so in first in first topic sorry in the first subscription we'll go inside it and we will just pull it here we'll be able to pull it so this particular uh, pub sub uh, which we have created it is uh, one too many so it has one one topic and it has multiple subscribers so it has one too many and you can just see this is a gcp this is gcp and the, what is the published time and deadline exceeded so we have not um, so the deadline is we have given for 10 seconds here the same thing it is for 11 seconds just pull it here here also you can find the same message this is gcp but once after acknowledging you will be you will be not able to get it so I have acknowledged it here. I'll be acknowledging now. So once after acknowledging, even if I pull also, there will be no messages because once after acknowledging, the message will be expired from that particular pub sub, uh, subscription. It's the same way I'm doing here as well. So acknowledgement. Once the acknowledgement, end, if I pull, I'll be not able to find the, any data here. So this is what, even if you wanted to publish many messages, like three to four messages at a time, so this is DCP and Fariki is my friend and DCP uh, is cool. So DCP is best cloud platform. So here you can just publish it here. Message has been published and here you can go there and just pull it. You will be able to see all the four messages. This is GCP. Sorry. See, this is GCP. For case, my friend, GCP is cool. GCP is best cloud platform. After acknowledging it, even if I pull, I'll be not able to get it, get that same message. So the same thing, I'll be able, I'll be doing it here also. I'm not going to enable acknowledgement message. I'll be just pulling it, so I'll be able to get four messages. See, if you see a no acknowledgement message, it is not in the blue color because I have not enabled acknowledge message. I'm just pull it again. Now you will be able to acknowledge it. The moment you acknowledge it you will be not able to uh, get it again uh, so this is how we will be able to create uh, pub sub topic and uh, pub sub subscriptions so it can follow one to one many to many to many or many to one also it can follow um, pub sub can follow this many approaches as well so after once it is deleted uh, once it is done you can you have to delete the subscription as well since it is an uh, um, serverless application Whenever you are using that particular service, you will be obviously charged. But it uh, since I am in free trial, I'll be deleting those subscriptions as well. Deleting those subscriptions and uh, subscribers as well. I'm just refreshing it, making sure those I'll be deleted. I'll be deleting the topics as well. So how to delete the topic? Just click on it and delete it. 
so that's it for this video i hope you learn something new out of this video uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you have any doubts please post that in the comment section in the next video i'll be uploading the same topic related to pubsub with how to create using gcli how to create using python and i'll be explaining you with a real time scenario on how to use pubsub how to integrate pubsub with cloud functions how to integrate pubsub with bigquery cloud storage i'll be explaining you i'll be working on a lab or in the real time use case as well uh, taking some example we will be form um, forming a particular use case and we will be do implementing it in this uh, in this channel itself so if you have any questions please post in the comment section uh, please like share uh, comment and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll meet you on the next video with interesting content from google cloud platform as well until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning thank you